everybody, it is Melina Moy. Hope that you are doing well and staying safe. Do not adjust your screen. I literally do play upside down. So a couple of cool players that I really enjoy who play this way, of course, my big brother, Eric Gales. We got the wonderful Doyle Bramhall, um, Albert King, Dick Dale, so many incredible lefties uh, who are upside down. I wanted to talk to you today about creating an emotional solo. So I wanted to talk to you about a solo with feel. Everybody has that one thing they love to play. So when you play it, you're actually really putting a lot of emotion into it. Technically, that is feel, right? So everybody has their feel. Now, a lot of people feel that it's something that's innate when it comes to doing like lead, but I like to think that it's something that you can develop. You know, being left-handed and having a skinnier E towards me, I like to really go with a lot of cool bends. So I thought that we would look at my solo enough. Uh, the song is actually in G major, but I chose to do an E minor pentatonic scale. For me, I really like uh, songs that come with a little bit more soul, bluesy feel, grit, plus with the E minor allows me to utilize more of the fret as well. So let's look at the uh, first bend. I use this a lot in all of my soloing. I absolutely love it. It's actually a whole bend. And of course, you're gonna have to depend on your ear. You know, lean on your ear for sound and to make sure that you're in scale. One of the things that I think is cool is if you're not sure about your bend, then utilize like your tuner because with the tuner, you know, you'll play it and then you'll and then bend and then you'll see that, hey, I'm actually sharp or I'm flat or I'm not hitting the note or I'm actually right there. And then the second tip is you wanna remember what you did and also where you are on the fretboard so that you can just keep that in mind and that way you'll start to get in the habit of this is where the A is when I use vibrato or put it here. So let's begin. Uh, this is basically this, like I said, it's the E minor pentatonic. So I'm on the E. Instead of coming in right with the E, I wanted to have make it scream and, and use aggression. So I wanted to do something a little different. On the B string, um, you really don't need the C or the D sharp, but I'm putting it in to help with the bend to just really give me more of a, a pull with it. But the D is what we're really after. So, but the thing is you want to take the D and move it to the whole step, which is the E. So it should sound like this. <laughs> And that's really making a scream. And to me, when I hear that, it just makes me go, man, now, you know, we have a record, right? So I love that. So that's just one of my little tips. I love that. Um, one more time. So basically, you're going like this. See what I mean? And you can put the little vibrato action in it. And again, works up and down the fret. Super cool. Really simple. Brings a lot of feel. Makes a scream. So the next bend I want to address is the, I call it the slow bend. So think of it like more as a, a climax, right? So can I say that? The goal here is to take it and then to just uh, bring it back and recover. So you want to definitely put all the feel that you can and in, in, in emotion and have it like that. I, I love that, Bill. You'll hear it with everybody from Slash, like I said, to Eric Clapton, Prince especially. Check out my solo in my music video, Enough. It's coming up right now. You'll definitely hear a lot of the same techniques that we went over today. Hope you enjoy it. Happy bending. And thank you, Fender, for allowing me to come in. Mwah. Nothing but love. Bye.